All right, everybody. Hello. Welcome to Design Coffee Break. I'm Lisa and I will be your coach today. Please, in the chat, let us know that you're here and let us know where you're from. Now, if today is your first time joining us for Design Coffee Break, the idea is that we want to deliver a few tips that are going to help you get more out of your post to my wall experience in about 10 or 15 minutes, the same amount of time as it would take you to enjoy a cup of hot coffee. So today we're going to cover photo and video masking effects. Let me change my slide here and show you what I'm talking about. This is very, very cool. Um, so you're going to learn to use our masking tool to create cool effects with shapes and text and also how to add a video background to make it really, really special. All right, so some of you may be asking, what is, oh, first of all, again, I am here in Atlanta, Georgia. Susie is in the Bay Area. Susie, who's with us today? Oh, hang on. I am just uh, looking at the chat. Ask me again in 30 seconds. Okay. All right. So we'll get back to Susie in a second. I'm going to go ahead and explain what masking is. So masking is where you make a part of a photograph or image transparent so that you either see something else through it or around it. Okay. So you can see I've got this video, this cute video of kids playing soccer at the top. And down here, I have a photo I took from a stock photo of AstroTurf. And so what we could do, add a mask right here, the masking tool. So we could say a shape, an oval, and tell it to mask. Okay, so actually, we're going to go back again, and we're going to invert it so that what we're going to do is see through and around. So rather than seeing around the oval, we're going to see through. And you could see that you could move that right over the image. And you can see the video through. It's pretty cool, right? So I'm going to show you in a second how to apply that to a design. Susie, who's with us today? Um, you know what? I'm seeing a lot of thumbs up, a lot of hand waving. Um, I haven't seen any locations yet. So drop those into the chat, and we'll give you a shout out. All right. Hi, everybody. Um, I guess if you don't want to tell us where you're from, that is OK. So I'm going to show you masking on this, on this design here. So the first thing you need to do is to add a photo that you're going to cut your mask out of. Uh, I have a photo already uploaded, but you can do from our stock photos or any photo you own. But I'm going to add a background, basically a um, a field with a lot of flowers and some nice light. So I'm going to make it very big. So it covers my whole design, line it up. And now I'm just going to send it backward till all the design elements are in front of it. So I click backward multiple times until it's in the back. So that looks nice. But if we want to add even more impact to the women in the front, we can add a mask. So again, I click on that photo, click mask. And I'm going to tell it to add a shape. This time we're going to go with a circle. And I'm going to make the circle a little smaller. Bring it in the center. Is that center line? Click mask. And you can see how simple that was. It masked out all but a circle of that field. So we got kind of a halo around her. Right? Pretty nice. Now there's a lot of variations on this, as you can, as you saw before. The other thing that we can do is we can click up here on the top left. We go back in and click invert. And now what it's going to do is it's going to show the brown background around her and put the field in the whole background. So you might prefer this look, which is which is also quite stunning. The other cool thing, very cool, is color pop up here at the left. And what that does is it makes something black and white. So you can see by turning on color pop, now it's going to be black and white around our woman and color everywhere else. Really awesome. And the other thing is to take off the inversion and use the color pop on. So now we'll have black and white all around her and the sunshine bright around her. So those are some really simple, really cool effects that you can get. Now you may be wondering, I'm going to go to another copy of this. You may be wondering, so how do you get the woman um, who is sticking out? The woman you know, has no background, how do you do that? 
So that again, she has already been masked by our team. And you can see it was, was a freehand mask. And if you click freehand rather than shape, what you, all you need to do is you just kind of go in and you click lots of little nodes to do the outline. And then when you click mask, I'll show you if you remove the mask, you've got a photo. And so now it's gone. So you can see this is how it was before. Now, if you are a premium member, you can do the shortcut to this, click remove background. And it is but just like magic, it is, it is done. I'll do that again. Um, again, for premium users, you click remove background and that is gone. But if you did not have remove background, again, you could go into the masking tool, click freehand, and there's some options here you can play around with, but basically I'm gonna do this very quickly. You would wanna do a lot more nodes. So if you just kind of click around the outside of the shape that you want to mask, you can do this, like I said, very sloppy. We might accidentally cut off a little bit of her hair or something. Um, and also you can zoom in while you're doing this. If you wanna get closer in, very good way to do it. down here. Now, oops. There. I tell it to make it straight and do the final across the bottom, close it off. Also, if you put a node where you don't want it, you can just drag it back into place. Zoom out one more, get that node down. And again, you click mask and there you go. You've got that outline. Very, very simple, very, very easy. Um, Susie, do we have any questions so far? Well, so one of the questions I think you answered, um, I think it was Caroline who said, hey, how do you swap out a stock photo? And I think you showed us with that. And um, if I can just say, if people have questions that we don't have time to answer, um, any question you put in the chat, you will get a response from. And I think there's also a email address that people can easily send the questions to, at least if you want to talk to that. And while I've got uh, a host of people letting us know where they're from, just going to give a shout out to our friends in Atlanta, Georgia. Yay! Um, got a couple of people, exactly, a couple of people in Florida, um, France, Angola, Springfield, Missouri, Canada. New Delhi, India, Singapore, Kansas City, nice, Indonesia, Lompoc, Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, Morocco, Liberia, and Malawi. Awesome, awesome. International crew today. Welcome, everybody. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and answer that question really quickly about the swapping out a stock photo. Um, because basically, when you click on a photo or a video, and you come over here on the right, and it says replace. And then it'll take you back in. You tell it you want to do a stock video. Uh, maybe I'll say kids playing. Just kids playing this time. Click search. And you can see now I can have all these, you know, I had soccer players before, but maybe I want, you know, so instead I can say replace video with these kids playing Lego. And this is going to churn for a few seconds or maybe a minute. And that photo will swap out. And it's slower than I like today, but it is churning. Um, also, I want to show you while we're waiting for that, we'll go back to this mask and you can drag this to, you know, around within the mask. Sometimes you have to go back and forth to get it positioned exactly where you want. See now that oval is in the center. Um, I will come back and show you that will take me a second to upload. I'm going to go on to the rest of the demo on masking. Now, this is very, very fun. Um, one of the things that you can do is put a video behind your mask, like I did with the soccer players, and you can do it with letters instead of a shape um, or instead of a freehand shape so that you can call attention to your message. Um, so the first thing you need to do here, again, is put a photo over your background. I'm going to add a stock photo and I'm going to put in sparkle. Take this photo, add the photo. And again, I'm going to make it 
big, cover my whole thing and click backward. I clicked that several times to bring forward. Well, I went one too far, so I went one more forward. All right, and then I did like that darker purple color. So I'm gonna go in and tint my photo, click tint. And I want that nice Mardi Gras purple. All right, I like that. And then here with the tint also, you can change the opacity and I'm gonna leave it a little bit, a little bit transparent. All right, so now, now that we have this background, we can mask it. So again, we go up here to the right and click mask. And I'm gonna tell it this time on the right bottom here, click text, type in my text, Mardi Gras. And I can make my font bigger and I can use my, change my line height. So you can make those letters closer together or farther apart. I'm gonna bring them closer in and I'm going to center them and I'm going to change the font, the same font I had before. So you could do this. You can take a template that doesn't have video or masking and just write down the, you know, the name of the font and then you can uh, substitute it out. So I've got my font and I click mask. And, ah, and I also need to get rid of my old copy. So you can see that's too far down. So again, I go back to my mask, I'm gonna drag that up, click mask, still too far up. So we get it right about where we want it. And actually I'm gonna drag it. You can also drag it in here a little bit if you have enough background space. So now all I need is to stick a video behind there. Go to media, add a stock video. I'm gonna put sparkle again. And actually, I'm gonna change it to sparkling. There we go, I like this gold one. This purple and gold are Mardi Gras colors. So that video loaded a little faster. I'm going to make it big enough to cover over my lettering. And again, send it backward and click several times. Each time it goes back one layer until, there we go. You can see it through the text. Um, and then what you can do again is go in, you can turn the brightness up or change the tint to make sure it really pops. So let me play that again on the video. So anyway, so there we have this, let me save. Let's make this background a little darker. Bring the opacity up. And, and my video is not playing for me right now. Um, I'm not sure why. I think it just needs to save. Anyway, um, so the video is not playing, but it should be. And if you have problems like that, again, just email us at help at postermywall.com and our excellent tech support people will help you figure out what is going on. All right, um, let me go back to the other video with the sample mask and that one hasn't come up either. It looks like our server is a little slow today and I apologize for that. So do we have any other questions, Susie? Um, we had a question about whether or not we were live recording. So yes, we are. This video will be available on this uh, page. And then the other question, actually more of a comment, um, it was regarding a suggestion about uh, color matching. So that's, I mean, obviously I think that'd be very popular. So let us um, give some thought to that and we will reply back with suggestions and um, okay. ideas around that. We will do that. And, and again, we'll be checking back the comments um, the, the rest of the afternoon and again tomorrow. So if you have any questions for us, we will get in there and answer them for you. Oh, there we go. The video is working. It just needed a second. So hopefully everybody can see that. We'll zoom in and you can see it. It, it in fact is quite sparkly and pretty. So once again- Very bubbly. We, 
we have a promo code for you. If you would like to upgrade from premium to premium plus, or would like to be or are our first time subscriber, use the promo code designbreak30 and you'll get 30% off of your quarterly or annual subscription. That is for premium or for premium plus. Uh, I also wanted to mention, here we go, we got a little animation here for you. Next week's class, we are very excited. We have Matt Snyder, co-founder of Copywriter Creative, and he is going to give a class on improving email campaign performance. He's created a simple do-it-yourself process so you can analyze the performance of your email campaigns and identify opportunity for improvement on future emails. So that will be next Wednesday, May 26th at 1230 Eastern Daylight Time. So that is all we have for today. Thank you so much for joining us. And we will hopefully see you next week when we have Matt Snyder. Um, thank you from everybody. Thank you from Susie and I, and thank you from Post to My Wall. Have a great day.